Episode 24. I broke through a plains village and then found a mountainous cherry grove. I have decided that this video is going to contain three episodes. Let's find a new biome, okay? After running out of shears and some forests, I crafted more. I will eventually run out of iron at this rate. Using shears makes me go faster, but stopping to mine and smell iron slows me down. Is it worth it? After passing through a dark forest, a birch forest, and a normal forest, the world opened up into a savanna. After taking some iron nuggets from a ruined portal, I looked backwards and saw a huge mountain. I had passed right by it without noticing. There was a jungle and more forests. For a few minutes, nothing interesting happened, so I'm going to play the adventuring music now. swamp came into view. This could mean a mangrove swamp is close by, but instead there was a witch hut. I investigated it and a witch hit me with a slowness potion. I did the smart thing and pillared up so the poison couldn't reach me, and I continued through the swamp. Now we are in episode 25. There are still five biomes left to find. This swamp returned to being a normal biome, with no mangrove swamps in sight. A long time ago I did see a mangrove swamp, but it didn't touch my line. I climbed a mountain and hoped there would be a windswept forest, but it was windswept gravelly hills. I had found that a long time ago. I notice that I have less than half a stack of cooked pork chops. The next time I see pigs, I will take them out. I also decided that I won't craft shears anymore. I need to save the iron for pickaxes when I eventually choose to search for the deep dark. I've also started trying to run across the canopies whenever possible. This will save durability on the tools. I took out a spider that was hiding underground, but it didn't drop any string. Somehow I still don't have a bow. The dark forests require a lot of axe durability, because the mushroom blocks are broken most quickly with an axe.
I finally saw some pigs and put potatoes in my offhand. This lured them onto the line. In the jungle, I heard several zombies underground and started searching for a spawn. I didn't find one. At the end of episode 25, I had reached 107,000 blocks from spawn. And so we arrive at episode 26. I zoomed through a savanna, occasionally stopping to take out pigs. Suddenly, I came over the top of the hill, and there was a wall of green in front of me. The mangrove swamp biome number 49. I was so excited that I fell from the top of a tree and was down to two hearts. Also, did you know that running in a straight line through a mangrove swamp is slow and painful? I didn't know that. Constantly alternating between swimming and walking, breaking through roots and leaves, is not a good time. To celebrate finding a mangrove swamp, let's listen to the sailing music. snowy taigas and frozen rivers. For anyone who missed it, I cannot boat across ice. If I go off the line, the command block will teleport me into the ice and I will suffocate. Jagged Peaks is one biome I still need. These snowy plains have some tall terrain, but it was not Jagged Peaks. Even though I can't boat across frozen rivers, it is the flattest, easiest thing to run on. As this episode was ending, I found some more icebergs. I checked the advancement counter and verified that I have indeed found 49 biomes. 